Ghana on Tuesday remembered her Prime Minister in the Second Republic, Dr. Kofi Abrifa Busia, with a public lecture in Accra to mark 40 years of his passing. The Speaker of Parliament, Professor Mike Okwe, who delivered the lecture, described him as a tar whose contribution to national development remains indelible. Dr. Buzia is remembered for his role in restoring civilian rule following a military regime. The fact that Foster has turned around to say, I'm prepared to talk to you and to talk on equal... Dr. Kofi Abrifa Buzia was overthrown in a military coup led by Colonel Ignatius Kutu Echampon. Dr. Buzia was sworn in as Prime Minister of the Second Republic of Ghana in 1969, focusing extensively on rural development, believing that if the rural areas were developed, it will keep rural urban migration and therefore set up a ministry responsible for rural development. The lecture was to celebrate him as a great statesman. On governance, Professor Mike Okwe described Professor Buzia as a prophet who stood his ground to oppose the anti-democratic methods used by the Convention People's Party, CPP, government led by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. He said Professor Buzia's administration that ruled Ghana from 1969 to 1972 laid a foundation for the entrenchment of fundamental human rights in the country because his policies paved the way for the enjoyment of personal liberties. On education, the speaker touted Professor Buzia's academic credentials, saying that he blazed the trail in the area of education and rose above all obstacles to climb higher the academic ladder. He observed that Professor Buzia was an excellent example of a learned person who made a good blend of academic and practical knowledge to solve problems. Buzia believed democracy is democracy. Freedom from arrest. Freedom to choose who you want to lead you. Freedom to appear before the court before you can be found guilty. And that no man can be a judge in his own cause. Busia believed these things have nothing to do with the color of a skin, but that they were human rights inherent in any human being. And that what was good for the white man was also good for the black man. He also eulogized Professor Buzia for his stance against corruption, especially when the canker was still a major development challenge for many governments after him. Professor Kwe urged members of the New Patriotic Party to learn and reflect on Professor Buzia's virtues and incorporate those good ideas in their activities. It was during his days, years indeed, in exile, that he made his name in the international economic, economic community. He was appointed Professor of Sociology at the Institute of Social Studies at The Hague from 1959 to 61, when he resigned. He also held several visiting professorships in Europe and America. Busia made a good impression as an investor and wrote a number of books during his academic career. His D. Field thesis was updated and became a standard work. Apart from several learned papers in sociology, religion, and education, he published The Challenge of Africa. Dr. Buzia was not only a great politician, but also a holistic person who left a lasting legacy for all. President Akufuadu has charged Ghanaians to be, quote, up and doing, unquote, to make the nation great and strong. At the 40th year remembrance of the death of Dr. Kofi Abrifa Busia, President Akufuado said Dr. Busia dreamt of a Ghanaian nation at peace, prosperous and generous, a beacon of hope to Africa and the world. And Ghanaians, the president says, must strive to achieve this. We do not need to let it succeed. He was Ghana's Prime Minister in the Second Republic from 1969 to 1972. Born at Wenchi in the Bonahafo region on July 11, 1913, he died in London, the UK, on August 28, 1978. His basic education was at Wenchi and Kumasi and for secondary school. It was in Fantipim in 1930. When he graduated from the University College, Oxford, in 1941, he earned a B.A. in philosophy, politics, and economics. In 1942, he was one of the first two Africans appointed district commissioners in the British colonial service. Then in 1954, he became Ghana's first university professor in the country's premier university, now University of Ghana, Lagos. Dr. Buzia authored many classic books, including Africa in Search of Democracy. 
a challenge of Africa and purposeful education for Africa. He carried his political umbilical cord 1951 as a member of the National Assembly. In 1956, he became leader of the opposition and he went into exile. In 1959, when his life was threatened, following the passage of the Preventive Detention Act by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's CPP's government. Dr. Buzia's Progress Party won a landslide victory in the general elections of 1969 and became Prime Minister. Former President John Ejikun Kufo said Dr. K. Buzia was a man who gave many the opportunity to explore. President Kufo described him as one of the far-sighted political thinkers in Africa. He said his overthrow deprived Ghana the full impact of his development agenda. Dr. Buzia was unequivocal that democracy cannot endure if the leaders and the people are not committed to it, if they do not understand it, or if they are not sincere to its principles. He believed that democracy could and must work in, in this country, and it's for this reason that patriots such as himself, Joseph Wachidankwa, Emmanuel Obeche Bilanti, Edward Kufuado, William Ufoyata, S.D. Domu, B.K. Adama, Bafo Seakutu, Victor Wusu, Ara Ramponsa, Joe Apia, Osei Bedu, Ohinibakwa Richardson, S.D. Anto, Modesto Apalu, Ashini Kwe, Ato Okain, and the others risk their lives to fight against the asphyxiation of our freedom and the incapacity of our parliamentary system to defend it. For Dr. Buzia, democracy will really thrive if the leaders and the people commit to it. In his book, The Challenge of Africa, written in 1962 at the height of the Cold War, Dr. Buzia demonstrated a profound understanding of the problems confronting Africa and the solutions most likely to yield lasting results. He argued against the post-colonial myth, propounded with convenient ease by Africa's first generation of leaders. The multi-party democracy was allegedly a luxurious Western concept alien to African society. The representatives on the Dankwa Dumbobuzia tradition to lend support for a successful event.